Yo, what's up? Good morning from Mykonos. Today is actually our last day here. Tomorrow we're taking a ferry to the next island. I wanted to come here early in the morning and get some videos when the town is a little bit less busy, when the small roads are less obstructed. Probably gonna let the drone go off a bit too. I'm going to do the next question. There's actually a little alleyway that I walked by earlier. Just post up over here. Nice and empty. All right, so moving on to the next question, application question one. This is the part of the test where it's gonna become more word problems. You're gonna have application problems, thinking problems, and then at the end, there's also gonna be the communication section. So in this particular problem, we're given a triangle. We're given two expressions for the sides of the triangle, two of the three sides. And we're also given expressions for the perimeter and the area. And what they're asking us to find is the height. And if we're treating that actually as the height, then the third side that we don't have an expression for, we could treat that as the base. And we're gonna eventually need the base because we're gonna be using that area expression. And we know that the area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by two. So let's actually label that third side that we don't have. Let's label it with a letter B to represent the base. And notice that we can actually find an expression for that base in terms of X and Y because we're given expressions for two of the three sides and we're also given the perimeter. And so when we add up the three sides, we know that that's gonna equal that perimeter expression, which is 12X plus 8Y. And so now we can isolate for that letter B, that variable B, which represents the third side the base and when we do that when we bring everything over keep the base on the left side we'd end up with 6x plus 9y as an expression for the base so now what we could do is go into using the area expression the perimeter expression we're completely done with we just needed to use that to find the third side the base now with the area expression it's going to be a little bit more tricky so we know that the area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by two i'm actually going to rewrite that as one half times the base times the height just so we can separate all of those different factors and we know that the base which is what we just saw for is 6x plus 9y. And now for the left side of the equation, let's actually bring in that expression for the area and put that instead of the capital A. And so notice that we would have that expression equaling one half times the base of 6x plus 9y times the height. Now, what's the problem here? Well, the problem is that both of these sides, they're in different formats. Notice that on the left side, we are adding a bunch of expressions versus on the right side, we are multiplying a bunch of expressions. And so what we wanna do is take that left side and switch it to the format of the right side. And so what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to factor that left side into expressions that are multiplying and then we could sort of mix and match the left and right side and see which of the factors is going to be the height of the triangle which is ultimately what we are trying to find so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take out a half from the expression on the left side i'm going to factor that out in order again for the format of both sides to match because we have that half as a factor on the right side we got to have it on the left side as well so from here that remaining expression if you go into factoring that by decomposition it's a multivariable expression you'd end up with two factors 6x plus 9y and then 5x minus y and so notice that at this point it's obvious to see that the height is going to be 5x minus 